So what was that sound? Silence on set, please. Let's silence our phones, everybody. This is gonna yell at me. Melissa, I'm sorry. I'm sure you can hear so much noise right now. Again, I can hear Melissa yelling at me. Girl, have your shit ready. If Celeste is watching this, I swear to God, Melissa is gonna be my Eva. Eva, write that down. <laughs> Shuffling through my shit. I'm sorry, Melissa. I don't know if you heard my brother just scream. <laughs> Melissa, keep that in the video. <laughs> okay. I don't think there's anything better than working with your friends. Oh my gosh, I have to wrap up this video soon before like the freaking mm bop music starts playing. Mm -bop -bop, mm -bop. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I just kind of pulled this look together. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I really like how it turned out. Um, I've been really inspired by what seems to be the coming of fall, even though it's California and it's 100 degrees out and it's disgustingly hot. Um, but yeah, you know, we're over here just wishing we had seasons like Colorado or something. Um, anyways, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see how I got this gorgeous look, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with taking a little sip of my little Cabernet Sauvignon <laughs> by Sutter Home because I need a little bit of wine. So I'm going to go in with the Philosophy Water Cream today. So this video is kind of like a little test run for my new um, background, if you will. I don't know if I'm going to keep it here, but um, yeah, I'm just trying out something new. Um, if you watched my last video, hopefully by now it will be up, but I am collaborating with one of my good friends and she's gonna help me edit my videos. I'm really excited about this. Um, I usually edit my own videos and I don't do a really good job at it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited. So I'm going in with my Hourglass, Hourglass Vanish Concealer and I'm just going to Take a little concealer brush and just clean up the bottom of my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go all the way from outer to inner, creating the shape of the brow that I want. So yesterday, there was a little bit of a lightning storm. It started sprinkling a little bit, which I was really excited about. I went outside right when it started raining, so I feel like that kind of made me officially feel like the fall is maybe hopefully starting. I know right now it's like super hot in California, but maybe if enough of us think that it's gonna get cold soon, we'll manifest it and it'll get cold soon. Right, Justin? I'm not talking to an imaginary friend. I'm actually talking to a human. I'm not crazy, usually. <laughs> so I'm trying, trying this new thing out um, where I try to be, you know, semi-professional because I'm not professional at all, ever, but I really want to kind of, um, do better at putting up videos and being like more consistent about it um, because I, I really do like recording these videos and showing you guys how I do my makeup. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've always loved watching makeup videos and I would like to be able to maybe put something out there amongst the millions of videos um, that might entertain you and teach you something, hopefully. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing, but I know that I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one is like a moss, and I believe this one was in the Raw Beauty Christie collab. Um, this one was actually a gift from my closest friend, Celeste. Shout out to Celeste. Now I'm just gonna go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm going to put this all over. I bring it out past my eye just because I know that I'm gonna blow it out and make it really smoked out. I love this primer, but I hate the applicator. I feel like every time I pull out the wand, all of the product is taken off of it. 
so not much really goes onto the lid right away so I have to do two applications to get enough for my entire eye or I like squeeze it and scoop it up with the wand which to me kind of defeats the purpose I'm gonna start out with the Raw Beauty Christie Pure um, Eyeshadow Palette I'm gonna go in with copper boxes and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna dust that right above my crease from outer to inner corner and I'm not being too careful with it. I'm really gonna diffuse this. This is just gonna be my transition shade. And I'm just gonna bring this all the way out. And like I said, I'm gonna bring it past my eyebrow, just feather it out here. Typically when I blend out my eyeshadows, I do small circles and windshield wiper motions, so I don't really think about it too much. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go in with B, which is this shade here. I'm gonna start putting this on the inner and outer part of my lid. I'm just tapping it on first just to lay down the product. I'm gonna start kind of weighing that out and bringing that right where we placed the transition shade, just slightly blending into that. And I'm not picking up as much product for the inner corner. I'm just kind of taking whatever was left on my brush. So I'm keeping the center of my lid blank because that's where I'm gonna put down another shade and I don't want these colors to kind of take away from it. So I'm gonna dip back into B and copper boxes, just lightly merging those two shades together. So I did something really exciting. I've officially uh, recorded the first episode of a podcast with Celeste. It's called Paranormal Punch and I'm really excited about it. Um, we just recorded it, I think, I want to say it was a week ago now. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that we already started. Um, we've talked about it for a while and kind of have been, you know, just discussing it, saying that we wanted to start, but haven't officially started it. Um, and last week we got together to finally sit down and record it. Um, and it was, it was pretty fun. Um, I was really nervous and I think it'll show <laughs> in the first episode but I mean I'm not too worried about it it's you know our first episode and I think we both kind of just needed to get used to talking into a mic um but yeah so uh it's gonna be a paranormal podcast you're gonna have to go and listen to it if you want to find out what we talked about the first episode but all I gotta say it's really creepy um, at least, you know, the topic is really creepy. It's something that has um, really freaked me out my entire life since childhood and even now into like adulthood. It's still something that terrifies me. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty creepy. But um, yeah, so we recorded that. So hopefully soon I will be able to give you guys a link to that so you can go and listen to it once it's been edited and put up so just be on the lookout for that it's out a little bit more and I'm just going right over the edge and I don't have anything more on my brush so I'm gonna be picking up Enchanted from the first Jaclyn Hill palette I would show you the palette but honestly it's so filthy you do not want to look at it so I'm gonna take this green and I'm gonna start just putting it all over my lid so I'm just going to bring that up to me, like that transition shade. I'm just gonna kind of go over those edges and diffuse it a little bit. And then going back in with that second brush that we used, just kind of blend it in with the inner and outer corners. So I'm going to go back into copper boxes. And I'm just gonna go over the crease. I'm really curious to try new products that Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is coming out with. I know there's been like so much controversy around her. I, I find it really hard to not like her. And I know a lot of people love to hate her, but she's just trying to freaking hustle, you know? It's really hard to dislike someone who's trying to get her life together. I'm gonna go in with the Super Shock Shadow now. I'm gonna put this all over. This green. I really thought this was gonna be very fall, but now I'm just thinking of Slytherin. I'm going to go back in with this brush and just go over those edges again. I think we're gonna move on to the face now. I'm gonna start with my foundation 
and I'm gonna do what I always do and take a little bit of the moisturizer. I always use like a water-based moisturizer just because I don't like the foundation to be too thick. Um, I really like a very thin, lightweight base. I'm going in with the Vanish Hourglass Foundation. This one is in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm just gonna put one pump of it onto my hand and I'm just gonna mix that up. So I'm using, I believe this is one of the sponges from, I think it's like the Ulta brand. And I'm only using this because I forgot my sponge. I usually go in with a Real Technique sponge, which is my favorite beauty sponge. But yeah, this, this ain't it. I really don't review products. I kind of just use what I like. I would like to do reviews. So maybe in the future, definitely not right now. Just saying. I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I'm just gonna blend that in with my brush first, putting it mostly triangle area, kind of working it up under my eyes. I'm gonna be taking this little Morphe brush and I've been using this a lot to just set my under eyes. I'm going to use the VH Cosmetics Pro Sculpting Palette. I'm gonna go in with these two here. Take the little brush I was using earlier and I'm just gonna wipe it off really quickly and I'm gonna go back into copper boxes and I'm gonna bring that from outer to inner corner just bringing it all the way in and I do like to bring it kind of right when I squint I do get these kind of like pockets here I usually start off with a more natural tone just to really help accentuate those eye bags you know because we're so tired here going back into that forest green I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna run that right along the lash line and again bringing it all the way in I'm gonna be taking Golden Ticket from the Raw Beauty Christie palette and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corners. So I'm gonna be going in with the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad palette by Benefits, this guy here. Just gonna start bronzing here. Again, always like usual, just kind of dotting it on and then blending it out with little circular motions. I'm gonna be going in with a MAC eyeshadow. This is in Rule. I have been loving using this eyeshadow as a blush and you don't really find orange blushes. It makes my face a little brighter, more awake. So yeah, I've just been really liking this eyeshadow for that. I'm gonna go in and do my brows. I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Wonderful Brow. Brushing down here where I have kind of like a little bit more sparseness then just brushing them up. I really want these guys to look pretty full today. As you can see, it really like stands them up and they stay like that. Now I'm going in with the 24 hour brow setter. This one is by Benefit. And I like to do my brows one at a time with this just because they both set pretty quickly. So right in the front, I do just comb them all the way up with a little comb on the brush. And then I lightly comb them into place, creating the shape that I want. So up here, I do have a little bit of a gap, so I bring them up a little bit more. So I'm just going in with some Duo Glue and I'm gonna pop on these lashes. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara, and this is the waterproof one. For my lower lashes, I need a waterproof, otherwise it's gonna smudge. I think this is the first time I've done my makeup without contacts, so I'm hoping this turns out good because honestly, I'm super blind. So I'm going to highlight now. Uh, this is like probably my favorite combination um, that I've been doing for a minute now. I've just been taking Golden Ticket and Cookie from, this is the Benefit highlighter and this is from the Robbie Christie palette and I've just been like mixing both of those together and I feel like it gives me the perfect neutral shade just because Cookie is a little bit um, too intense. Both of these together are just my favorite combo. 
last but not least, I'm just gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer and just contour my nose the tiniest bit just cause it's looking a little shapeless. Okay, so I'm just mixing a few um, shades from the Anastasia lip palette. And I just mixed in a few shades. Honestly, I just kind of pick up whatever and put it on and hope for the best. Just gonna use a little brush and line my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with the Talia Mousse and this is in Brownie. And I'm just gonna put this over top. Wow, she's beauty, she's grace. I'm just kidding. You're yeah, right. <laughs> that's all for today's video um i hope you enjoyed this look i feel very fall right now <laughs> um yeah i wasn't expecting it to be so dark or was i i really don't know what i was doing today so i don't know but i really love this green um i loved how the super shock shadow looked looked over top of that like dark green and you don't by any means have to use exactly what i used um, especially because I dipped back and forth between different palettes. You don't have to do that. You can just use whatever you have at home to try to replicate this look or even just like play around with different shades and just um, maybe just use the same techniques to come up with a look of your own. Um, yeah, because most of the time I don't know what I'm doing and it still comes out semi-decent. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!